Hey, what's going on, Who That Nation? It is yours truly, TJ Jones, the host of the State of the Saints podcast. And for a few minutes, I want to talk a little bit about the New Orleans Saints signing of former Washington Redskin, Arizona Cardinal, and Oakland Raider, DJ Swearinger. Now, DJ Swearinger is a safety. Um, I'm pretty sure a lot of people in the Who That Nation know who DJ Swearinger is. I mean, he... Um, is a guy who has played against Drew Brees and has picked him off multiple times. Um, DJ Swearinger is a hard-hitting safety. Um, he's been uh, traveling uh, as of late, which has been very shocking to me. Um, he's only 28 years old. Uh, he's, uh, I think he's maybe like a six- or seven-year veteran out of uh, South Carolina. But uh, DJ Swearinger uh, is a is a good football player. I see a lot of people in the Who That Nation that's saying that, you know, he washed up and all that kind of stuff there. But I need you to understand this. Um, the Saints are trying to make a run. I see a lot of people out here talking about, man, what about the salaries? What about the salaries? The Saints are trying to make a run, okay? Look, the Saints understand that the window opportunity is closing and they're trying to get depth at the secondary. You know, there ain't nothing wrong with that. I mean, we've been talking about this for weeks. Um, the Saints need to try to beef up their secondary. We've been talking about how guys been getting smoked and roasted and toasted, you know. So I have absolutely no problem with the Saints going out here uh, trying to get some veterans inside of their locker room, guys that they know uh, can be in position, guys that are not afraid of the big moment. And, and in this case, you know, with DJ Swearinger, of course, I don't think he's going to start. I think you have to like what you see out of C.J. Gardner-Johnson and Marcus Williams and Von Bell, but he can come in as an alternate and make some plays. I mean, he's a short tackler. He's a hard hitter. He's a guy that can uh, generate some turnovers. Um, I think you put him alongside uh, Janora Jenkins coming in. I think you have a, a, a very formidable uh, duo that can come in and add to the team. I mean, you got to go for broke right now. I mean, we looked at Drew Brees. I mean, he's playing on a high level right now. He wants it. Uh, the defense, they responded from a, a lackluster performance against the San Francisco 49ers. It seemed like, you know, they want um, they want to be great. These guys are trying to make a Super Bowl, man. So I have no problem with the sign of DJ Swearinger. Um, I, I guess, you know, he's been dealing like with some injuries and stuff like that, which caused a lot of teams to kind of move on from him. Uh, you know, I think the Oakland Raiders uh, kind of signed him because uh, Jonathan Abram, uh, a guy who uh, they got out of uh, – uh, Mississippi State, um, he ended up being out for the season, and he kind of plays similar to what DJ Swearinger is, and they thought that he probably can match the intensity, and it just didn't work out, which, uh, you know, I have absolutely no problem with that at all. You know, I think he comes into the locker room. I think that he will uh, play right away, and, I mean, he can add depth to your team, so I, I, I'm, I don't have a problem with that. I think uh, we're looking at this the wrong way if you're looking at it when it comes to salary. I think you're looking at it the wrong way if you're looking at another body being in the locker room. You can never have uh, too many uh, players that can contribute to your team. So they understand that the window opportunity is closing. Uh, Drew Brees, I mean, I mean, he, he played more games than he has ahead of him. And they're trying to win a Super Bowl, man. So I think they're trying to uh, lay it all on the line. They don't want any, um, you know, miscues or issues to, you know, to uh, take away from what they're trying to do, man. I mean... Uh, man, these last two playoff uh, runs have been very heartbreaking for us. And I'm pretty sure, like, they're on the field. They're the ones that's in training camp. They're the ones that's playing the games through the season. So you can only imagine how this made them feel, you know, being so close yet so far. So I like what Sean Payton is doing. I like what Mickey Loomis is doing. Um, they're still evaluating players late in the season. And that's what you want from your coaching staff, you know, got, putting the right guys on the field. Um, and making sure that they're in the right position and does not have a reenactment of what happened in these last two playoff uh, appearances for the New Orleans Saints. But I would like to hear from you. What do you think about the sign of DJ Swearinger? Comment down below, like, and share this video. This has been the State of the Saints podcast. Subscribe to the YouTube channel, youtube.com, search State of the Saints podcast, and on Facebook at State of the Saints podcast. Till next time, all I got to say is, who that?